Hello everyone. Happy Monday. You're seeing this on Tuesday, but I'm recording it on Monday. So I just want to come on here and have a little bit of a motivational Monday for you guys. You know, I just wanted to let everybody know that I know that some of us feel as if we are undeserving of certain things. We are, for some reason, maybe some experiences we've had in childhood or for whatever reason, that we are unlovable, that we are undeserving of happiness or things that we want in our lives or we have done something or we've said something or whatever the situation may be, whatever the case may be. But I just want to remind everyone that there is nothing about you that is unlovable. There is nothing about you that is undeserving. There is nothing about you that is unfavored. You are all things. You are all things. And those include good things. So when you have these feelings or these thoughts of, you know, um, I want this certain thing, but I don't deserve it, or um, I've been told my whole life that I can't have this because of where I come from or who I am, or, you know, I can't have this because I don't make enough money, or I can't have this... Um, great, I don't know, relationship that you want, or um, you just feel undeserving. You feel unloved. You feel just all around like you don't deserve anything. And that is just simply not true. That is not the case. When you were born, you were born already deserving. You were already born already having you are already born perfect and of course as you grow up and you are introduced to other people other circumstances other people's opinions about you that is where we have developed this sense of unworthiness or undeservingness or whatever you want to call it because of other people's opinions and thoughts that they have placed on you and as a child you don't really understand what's happening you just say okay your mom says you're this so you identify with that you know aunt Susie, you know says all men are this because aunt Susie, you know for some reason didn't have good luck with men so in her opinion she kept telling you all men are this or men are that or this or that. And you develop that idea and you identify it with that as being true. And then as we grow up in the world, we start working, we start getting, um, having friendships and, and all of these different people, all of these different opinions, all of these different identities You've adopted, and then you wonder why you grow up, and you're like, no wonder you feel the way that you feel. So it's understandable if someone was telling you from a child growing up that this is how the world is. This is how it works. Money doesn't grow on trees. Money's hard to come by. Relationships are hard. People are this or people are that. No, none of that is true. None of that is true. It's just you've identified as that because it's what you've been taught. It's what you've heard your whole life. So if you are experiencing these things in your life, it's not because you are undeserving or because you are unworthy. It's just because that's what you've identified as. But the good thing is you can change all of that. You could just simply say, you know what? I don't identify with those beliefs anymore. Those beliefs don't serve me. Yes, my mother told me my whole life that, you know, um, you know, money didn't grow on trees or, you know, she, I can't afford this or I can't afford that. Well, that was true for her. That doesn't mean it has to be true for me. 
yes, my grandmother told me that, you know, um, you can't trust men. Well, maybe for her, she couldn't do that, but that's not true for me. Whatever your beliefs are, some beliefs, they do serve us, but some beliefs, they don't. And you need to just sort of let those beliefs go. Let them go. If you're wondering why, you know, certain things in your life is not going how you want them to go or your world is not looking how you want it to look, start to ask yourself, what do I believe about me? What do I believe about the world? What do I believe about these, these specific areas of my life? What was I told as a child? What did my mother believe? And you might come up with these ideas like, wait a second, my whole life I've been believing this is who I am. But no, I'm choosing a different identity because that's not who I am. But that, that's not me. You can change and choose a different identity. I'm not talking about your name. I mean, you could change your name too, but I'm not talking about your name. I'm talking about who you identify as in terms of money in terms of friendships, in terms of relationships, in terms of your career. You can change what you identify as simply by saying, I don't identify with lack. Yes, I grew up poor. Yes, I grew up not having. But that was not a circumstance I could control. That's not a circumstance I had anything to do with. So now I'm choosing to be someone who is abundant and prosperous. I'm choosing to be someone who is lovable. I am lovable. I am choosing to identify with who I really am. And that is worthiness, that is love, that is peace and harmony and joy, that's abundance. Choose something different for yourself. It's never too late, it's never too late. Choose something different for yourself. Now, are you going to wake up tomorrow with a million dollars? I don't know. Go buy a lottery ticket. Who knows? But if you start to identify with something different, then your world around you has no other choice but to agree with you. Because I'm going to tell you something. What you identify as your world, your reality around you is going to tell you yes, because guess what? That's who you are. Your world is only reflecting who you are, who you're identifying as. So if you are, you ever wonder why people who are wealthy, their world just keeps giving them more wealth? It's because that's who they identify as. Whether they were born rich or they became, what, it doesn't matter. That's who they identify as. They identify as someone who has money. It's the same as people who don't have any money. It's only because that's who they are identifying themselves as. You could change that just like that. You could wake up tomorrow and say, you know what? I don't identify with that anymore. I identify with someone who's abundant, who's prosperous, who is financially free every minute, every second, every day of my life. Now, like I said, are you going to have a million dollars in your account that same day? You might, and then you, you might not. But you know what? Over time, if you keep telling yourself that's who you are, your world has to reflect that. Because that's coming from within. That's coming from within. Your world reflects who you are on the inside. So if you change on who you are on the inside, everything else out here will change. This is not a permanent thing. What you're living is not permanent unless you want it to be. If everything in your life is how you want it to be, that's great. Leave it alone. Let it be. Enjoy. But if you're like most of us and there are some things in your life you want to change, you may not want to change everything. But you might want a new car. You might want some extra money. You might want to be able to go on a couple of vacations a year. You might want better health. Whatever it is that you want, just identify as the person that has it. 
and walk through your day, walk through your life as the person that has that thing or that life that you want. That's really all it is. That's really all it is. And eventually, you will wake up one day and you will be in this something different that you wanted. You're not stuck. You're not stuck in any type of reality. You're not stuck in any type of circumstance. You're not stuck. Don't ever think you're stuck. Because you have the ability to identify as something else and become something else, and then your world will reflect it. You're never, ever stuck in any type of situation, in any type of reality, in any type of job, relationship. You're not stuck in anything because you can change it. You can change it. God gave us the ability to do that. If you don't want to call it God, call it the universe. Call it, it's the same thing. God, the universe, source energy. Um, I don't know. It's all the same thing. Just a different name. Doesn't matter what you call it. It's all the same thing. It was given to us. It was a gift given to us. We have the gift of choice. We've always had the gift of choice. Use it to your advantage. Use it to your advantage. Don't ever say you're stuck because you're never stuck because you can change that right this second. All you have to do is say, you know what? I'm choosing to be somebody different and then walk in that every single day. Get up in the morning before you get out of bed and say, this is who I am now. And walk in that. Just walk in that. And eventually, over time, you'll notice things are going to change. All right, you guys, that's my Motivational Monday. Hope you guys have an awesome week, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.